In this video, I want to show you the three best routes against man coverage that all result in big gains over the top, no matter what your opponent does. Let's get into it. I'm using the New York Jets offensive playbook, and we can come out in the play halfback wheel. I want to first show you a real route that does not beat man coverage. For example, if you look at a Byers right here, just block the running back, make sure we don't get shed. Please give me time. Yes, you will see how number... 27 Steve Abwater that right there is pretty tight coverage I don't know if I can fit that ball in consistently if you go in into instant replay right here you see that he is pretty much step for step like Keith Byers is a little faster but that's not the wheel route that I'm talking about the wheel route that I am talking about is the regular hot rod master not hot rod master just regular hot rod wheel run then I will block Etienne once again, try to get time from the defensive line. And this time you see how if I throw a touch pass and possession catch this, we get over the top right there. Adwater made a great play, but I'll do try this again. Actually, now he's lit up, so this might be even more difficult. But I'll give it one shot and then we'll see where this goes. So come on. Ah, oh, we got it knocked out again. But you see how we are consistently getting a stop. I'm just going to quickly turn off. Steve Adwater because this is not I don't want this like I want you guys to see how we can get a step and even if we have someone like Keith Byers who's not really known for catching we're still gonna be able to get enough separation so we can make the catch and get tackled without the ball popping out of our hands so right there you see we get the step Keith Byers we over we throw over through him and that's kind of the difficulty with this you have to throw a lot pass and I recommend personally throwing it with a free form this time i'm not going to throw it with the free form i'm just going to throw a touch pass you see how that gets completed and actually that was a pretty good rep but if you pass lead it with the free form you get a little bit further ahead so it's it's minute it's not that big of a deal in my opinion but i'm just too used to free forming it let's try it once again without a free form so i'm gonna throw a touch pass keith byers come on he makes the catch he gets over the top a lob pass will be even better. What's a lob pass? It's even more arc on the ball than if you had, for example, than if you had a touch pass. Right there, I held it again for a little bit too long. I'll try to get one lob pass in here just to show you what I mean. So I'm going to do this. You really need soft fingers for this one. That should be a lob pass. Hell yeah. You see how high that was? We drop it in a bucket. I didn't pass lead at this time. I was just focusing on the law pass. If we want to go into instant replay, I just want to show you how high the ball uh, just got right there. So let's go. Let's boom, 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 boom. Throw it. See how high that ball is? Like that is dropping in straight down. That is that is what we want uh, from a law pass. Let's try to get one completion with a law pass. It really is just a little boop, a little tap. Little tap, and then you can see we get a step, we can make the catch. That is the first wheel route that you want to run a running back wheel route. It does a great job against man coverage, but because we all know how good wheel routes are from the running back, they often get usered, and that point is not that good. So, we also want to have some wheel routes that come from other spots on the field that really trash your opponent. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, please subscribe to the channel, it would help me out a lot. Just click down there. Also, there are some other interesting links down there that you can check out. But let's now keep going with the second wheel route, which is going to be from a wide receiver. I am talking about the play wide receiver corner. Wide receiver corner, in my opinion, one of the best plays against man coverage for a multitude of reasons. First of all, because the C route from Moore is good and also the post from Plaxico Perez is good. Just look at the C route. We get outside of him. Beautiful. It's a quick hitting C route. It gets open quitty, uh, <laughs> quitty prettily pretty quickly is what I meant to say and it just does a great job second one would be Plaxico Burris you see how he gets open on that post so two great routes but that's not even the best one on the field the best one on the field I'm just gonna take it with a deep zone is by CD Lamb so we're going to snap the ball and you see how we get behind then we throw a touch pass and we try to get open and you see how we get the yards. Now, CeeDee Lamb is playing against Champ Bailey right there, who's faster than him, who's a better cornerback than CeeDee Lamb is a wide receiver. But we still get a step of separation. And just to show you that this was no fluke, I'm going to try this again. You see how he gets past him. <laughs> I just got hit there. Which, if you get hit, that is sometimes going to mess up the throw. But let's try this again. We see once again that the same animation happened where uh, he just kind of stutter steps champ Bailey does and of course circle was open right there but i got an even better throw which is going to be 
two CD lamp across the face of Champagne, and it's going to instant replay and show what uh, show what happens. Snap the ball. You see how he kind of shuffles, and at that point, it's it's already too late. Like we're already behind him, and that is when we get the yards. So, can we contain? Snap the ball over the top. Touch pass. Come on, let's get this in. And we get a step. Once again, CD Lamb, not the best receiver, but Champ Bailey, one of the best cornerbacks in the game as of right now. But that wheel route also gets open. Let's look at a wheel route that does not get open, or at least not as consistently as some other routes in my experience. One of that one of those routes, where is it at? Did I miss it? I might be missing it. Where is it at? This shock edge option route. We can look at it, and that is why it is important for you guys to test all of those routes. A plaxico burst, snap the ball. He does not get as much separation as I would like. It's a little bit of a separation, but you saw CD Lamb, it was way better. And he's playing De against Deion Sanders right there, who's of course a good cornerback. But you see, we get a step, yes, but it's not as much as I would like to see. So be careful with that one. You always want to test out which routes are working and which ones aren't. Now let's get to a play that is very, very popular and that is run pretty much by everyone. Like I've I play against this every other game. Out of PA not not PA seams, my bad. Out of seams or out of slot posts. Let's call it out of seams. And you can see the wheel route that Burris is on. So once again, I'm gonna take away the deep zone just to make sure that we see this properly. Snap the ball. And this one, honestly, it just it might be the best one. Like <laughs> Plaxico Burris is absolutely destroying number 24, Charles Woodson there. He's the best Charles Woodson that's out there. And he just gets absolutely cooked. Let's try this one more time. Once again, block the running back. Everything else is going to stay the same. And he just runs by him completely. <laughs> so that is probably the best wheel route that's out there. But let's just let's not even go best wheel route because every single one of these routes has their time and place. I just want you to know that all of them are good and that you can use all of them for example now i'm going to put buyers on a wheel route i'm gonna i'm gonna open up the left side of the field I'm gonna qb contain and now i can choose if the user decides to cover circle then now i can look to hit a lap pass uh over to keith buyers of course right there over through it because you love to see it but that is where you can kind of mix and match because you have a hot drop wheel route that beats main coverage and then you have uh this play specific wheel route out of seams that also torches man coverage right there didn't get the best rack animation but we still got open i want to go into instant replay just one more time to really see how well this plays so we snap the ball boom 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 he's way too late to recognize that this is going right over the top of him you see how uh plaxico had to slow down right there that just shows that even with a pretty bad pass by tom brady this still was a pretty easy completion. So this time let's touch pass it all the way out of out in front of him. You see right there, we got a great rack animation. That's a lot of yards right there that are pretty easy to get, quite honestly. At this point now, it's just about finding some other routes that beat man coverage. For example, this speed out route can beat man coverage, but this corner out by triangle is even better. Right there, he just got bumped, which is unfortunate. But let's try this again. I want to see if this corner out is something that gets open consistently. Right there, let's cut that off. You see then at this point, it's just about finding some other routes that also beat main coverage. Because if you only have one route per play that beats main coverage, if that's user, then you're done. I hope you guys learned something from this. If you did, then let me know by leaving a like. Also, I already told you to subscribe. So if you have not yet and you made it until the end of the video, please do. It would support me a lot. Any questions in the comments below. Also check out the other socials that are in the description. Anyways, see you later. Peace out.